cop watch, policing the police every single day. Stop! They're foot bailing. Get him down on the ground! We got one in custody, other one's running. Oh, running southbound. I got it, I got it. You got any weapons on you? I don't. Why are you running for? I panicked, my guy. I was smoking on you. Make sure you got Come on, get up. Here's your buddy. Oh, huh? What do you do? In the car. Can you get him out? Hi. We got it. You stole, that's what happened. I did too. How old are you? 17. 17? I can smell alcohol on you. You been drinking tonight? Uh, no. So what do you, why do you smell like alcohol then? Uh, oh, you were drinking earlier today. Alright. Right on. Okay, Brittany's out with him. Yeah, we cut you on video, so might as well just, it's only theft. No big deal. Mm-hmm. Watch. Lawsuit filed after California cop drives patrol car into fleeing boy. By Ben Keller. July 18th. Edited. A pair of stolen earbuds could have cost a 17-year-old his life. A lawsuit has been filed against a California cop who drove his patrol car into a fleeing teenager. The chase began over a pair of stolen earbuds from Target on August 11th. The only problem, video shows 17-year-old Oscar Ramirez didn't steal anything. Get down. Get down. Stop now, Capitola cop Zach Courier can be heard saying on dash cam. They're foot bailing. He radios to dispatch. Before ramming Ramirez, according to the lawsuit, a Target loss prevention worker observed live surveillance video of a person shoplifting, but Ramirez is seen standing away from his companion at the far end of the aisle before they were seen leaving the premises. Since he is a minor, Ramirez's companion is not identified in court documents. Diane Valencourt, Ramirez's attorney, argues Officer Kaya's use of force could have been deadly for her client. Officer Courier struck the boy with, at a minimum, a reckless disregard for young Oscar Ramirez's life while stopping his flight, she wrote in the lawsuit filed on Ramirez's behalf. Courier and, the security guard, then jumped on top of the boy again in total disregard for potential injuries he may have suffered. When Courier, who suffered scrapes and torn clothes, was returned to his mother, Courier claimed the boy was involved in theft and swore at police. Valencourt says Courier made a number of misrepresentations in the incident report as well. Ramirez dashed out of the way of a mailbox that was in his path as he was fleeing, towards my patrol vehicle, the lawsuit's reference to the report says. Ramirez's direction change caused him to collide into the right front fender of my patrol vehicle. The lawsuit claims excessive force and accuses the city of Capitola of not properly training or supervising its officers to protect citizens' constitutionally protected rights. Any reasonable officer would have understood using his patrol vehicle as an impact weapon was unconstitutional under the circumstances, Valencourt wrote in recent court filing. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. 
and uh, I do I you can donate with PayPal and patreon uh, I just want you to think about this if everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon. Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.